Hey everyone, it's Allie with Acronaturalist. We get a lot of questions on how to assemble our insect nets. Today we're going to walk you through how to make two of our nets. So we have our professional insect nets, both of um, our aerial nets and our sweep nets. So we're going to walk you through it step by step. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Before I begin, I just want to point out that we um, have two types of nets here. We have our aerial net. Um, which is this really fine mesh. And then we have our sweep net. These nets are interchangeable. Um, and the process I'm going to show you today as far as um, putting the net actually together, you can uh, reiterate that process anytime you need to exchange the net. Our aerial field net um, has a really fine um, mesh. This mesh is um, really sensitive to butterflies and insects' wings. So um, we really encourage people not to buy um, cheap toy nets um, and really get the entomologist quality nets because they're um, they're respectful of the insects. You're not gonna um, tear up a butterfly's wing in these in these. It's very um, very sensitive fabric. This mesh and so it's practicing good netiquette or um, ethical entomology, as we like to say. And then um, our sweep net is a mesh um, or sorry, it's a muslin and so it's a bit coarser and it's. Um, it's really good for um, sweeping along um, through the grasses. Let's say you're in a meadow, you can sweep through the grasses with this and it's not gonna tear or snag. You can also um, shake underneath a bush and um, get any of the insects living there. And that's another good method. So when you order these nets, you're gonna get three parts essentially. And so step one is for this aerial mesh net, you are going to thread our steel band almost like you would thread a belt hoop and it's a process thread, thread a belt through the hoops but you're essentially cinching as you can see um and i'm cinching along and it might snag now and then and that's okay you just have to work with the steel and you might have to bend it a bit it's very flexible though um and there we go. As you go, make sure to keep one hand on the, the steel hoop just so you don't lose your place, so to speak. And then when you're close to daylighting, you have to, to work the hook through because it might get snagged on the fabric otherwise. Um, and then once it's through, I just go around and um, even it out. So now I have my hoop that is ready to go. As you can see, the hooks, um, one is higher than the other. That corresponds to these holes in your bar. So you want to find the one that is higher than the other and match them up. This way, the hooks will be flush with the wood. And there's one. Then I go on the other side. And there it goes. So now, as you can see, the the bar is still is flush and I can just cinch this aluminum case over it and keep it tight. And now for our sweep net, it's a slightly different process. Um, we have a slightly different material, but same process. We have these spring steel bars and same as last time, you're going to be threading it through, almost um, cinching it. Again, just think about like threading a belt through the hoops. Um, this time though, as you can see, it's it's not bowing properly, so you might have to apply some extra pressure. And what I like to do is use the ground as my um, pressure point so that I can actually bend this steel all the way around. Make sure you keep a hand on where you are at on the on the steel because otherwise you're just going to lose your place and it's all going to come flying out the other side. So um, when again on this one when it gets close to daylighting um, make sure it doesn't get snagged in there and um, now use the other hand to sort of work the fabric around. If it slips out of your hand like it just did for me and you lose your place that's fine just work it through again. Um, give it a little bit of pressure. Okay, so now 
I want to make sure that um, it's even on both sides. So as you can see, it's roughly even on both sides. I have two of these spring points and for the pole, um, my screw is uh, open, leaving an aperture through which I can thread these metal points. Um, so keep the screw open at the top. You don't have to take it off. Just make sure that you have an open aperture there. So the way I'm gonna do that is, um, again, use the ground to my advantage. I put one of them through and now this one needs to go through this way. So I'm gonna hold it firmly and just push. If it's not going through, then it might be getting stuck on the other bar. You just have to kind of work it uh, on either side. And then here, I'm going to pop that into the net. So pinching it down with that hand and then threading it through. And now with my screw, I'm going to tighten this down so that um, I'm securing that metal. Okay, perfect. Now, um, sometimes when you're bending it like this, it gets a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to pop it back into its shape, as you can see. And then now it's a little bit rounder and perfect. Thanks for watching everybody. We hope that this video helps. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Happy exploring.